So I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I was a little bit skeptical about all this AI talk in the beginning, but I have since learned that this technology is no joke. I mean, you guys have seen all the headlines. AI is making waves around the world right now, single-handedly disrupting industries that were once only thought to be able to be run by actual humans. And what's cool is that AI has also made its way into the real estate scene, and it's already proving to be a pretty massive crutch for architects, and not just beginner architects, we're talking about some of the biggest architectural firms in the world. Designing homes was once just an art that was kind of dominated by the meticulous skill and vision of human architects who spent years in school and decades honing their craft. But these AI machines have unbelievable capabilities to design structures beyond our wildest dreams, and they can crank them out in a matter of seconds. You can program these machines to design things for you that fit within certain parameters. So let's say you wanted to build a four-story building that was 60,000 square feet that was sitting on a one-acre lot. And to take it a step further, say you wanted that building to have a contemporary exterior with a lot of glass. Let's say you needed that building to be mindful of the sun patterns. And then inside, maybe your request would be that this space needed to be subdivided into six different sections, which would be rented out to six different companies. Well, if you put all that information into the right AI tool, you just gave that thing all of the information that it needs in order to come up with a ton of different design options. And what's even better is that I would imagine at some point these AI machines are going to line up with local building codes. So that means that they're not going to just be spitting out some fairy tale designs. They're going to be giving you some real, useful, actionable designs for your project. Hey guys, and just really quick interruption. I wanted to mention again that my first time Homebuyer Academy training is almost finished. This is something that I've been working on for like six months. It's a 15-step training that's designed to help first-time homebuyers buy their first house. I'm super excited with how it turned out, and I think that you guys are going to love it too. If you are interested in buying your first house, click the link down in the description to get on the list so that you'll be notified as soon as this training is released. What I'm going to do is, as soon as this training is ready, I'll be emailing everybody who's on that list a special discount code, so you'll be getting this training for like half the price that it will be priced at once it's released to everybody else in the public. When I bought my first house like 12 years ago, it totally changed my life financially and I wanna see it do the same for other people as well. That's why I'm really passionate about this. Anyways, that's all I've got. Click the link in the description if you're a first time home buyer. If not, that's cool as well. Back to the video. An architect named Dami Lee out of Vancouver has a YouTube channel where she talks architecture and design. She just did an awesome little experiment where their architectural firm tried to compete with AI to see who could come up with a better building design. As you guys know, I'm not an architect myself, so I figured it would be a fun little exercise for us to watch some clips of this video together just to see how an architect's mind works and how they feel about this AI revolution this happening. Welcome to the very first design competition, where once and for all, we will decide who is better, the architects or the AIs. Each team will be tested on their design skills, rendering skills, and the ability to describe their work. The winner will be unanimously decided by our Discord server, Party Beans. Okay, so I don't know how these guys are as architects yet, but their video production skills are next level. I'm pretty stoked about this. Design a floor plan for a 280 square meter house on a sloped terrain. The site is approximately 3,000 square meters at an approximately 20 degree angle. The house must have three bedrooms and a pool and take advantage of the view overlooking the hill. Okay, so it's given the AI machine pretty clear instructions, but that little detail about the fact that this house is going to be sitting on a sloped hill is going to make this a little more challenging for the AI, so it'll be interesting to see how they do with that. That's actually pretty good. Guys, let's just pick something that looks good in the renders. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, right there. That's kind of cool. Challenge number two, 
Develop the floor plans into compelling conceptual renderings that tell the story of your building. Take into consideration the unique characteristics of the site. The word compelling is the key to this challenge. Nailing down the context right in our rendering software was essential. After playing around with a bunch of different material options, we landed on concrete for the mass wall. The pool is the money shot. The entry experience should be exquisite, with the refraction of the pool showering you as you enter the house. This is so cool. I've ordered these renderings for a bunch of my projects over the years, but I never have actually seen them put together like this before. I just see the end product and I'm always like, wow, this thing looks almost exactly like real life. How did they do that? So it's awesome to see the architects actually putting these pieces together to come up with a design. And what this also shows is just how much work and what a manual process this really is. Okay, are you guys ready? All right, quick, let's set up the views. Nice. Guys, look. That's crazy. So what just happened is these three have been spending forever racking their brains, coming up with the perfect plan that's functional and flows and looks nice. But the AI model obviously doesn't have to do any thinking. It's just instant processing of information. And they came up with, what was that? A dozen different pretty awesome looking designs in literally seconds. This is the last and final challenge. Prepare a 150 word description of your project. So over the last couple of days, I've been asking our Discord community to vote on these images. I didn't give them any background on the video or the competition or who made these images. So the vote was pretty much based on a gut feeling, but I think it's a big enough pool to get a sense for people's preferences. So here's the results. So the winner of all three challenges, the plan challenge, the render challenge, and the text challenge was the AIs. And I think we expected the images to have a overwhelming majority for the AIs, but we were definitely surprised. Wow, so I guess that's not a huge surprise. They kind of led us on to believe that AI was going to win this thing in the beginning. But starting with just this overall floor plan and aerial shot, AI won by a long shot, like twice the votes came in for AI. And it's obvious why, I mean, in the human version, they only had the time and the ability to start with this very simple overview of the project. But in the same amount of time, AI only needed seconds to come up with what it thought was the best for this lot based on the slope of the lot and how much buildable space they had to work with. On this elevation image, I'm not gonna lie, I think both of them are very awesome. I'm surprised that this one weighs so heavily on the AI. I kind of almost like the human version better. I mean, it's on a single story for one. I love that crevice in the center where the pool is housed. I think that's such a cool design detail. The AI one, on the other hand, it just looks like some more stock image from someone you might see this fresh out of architecture school, at least in my opinion anyway. So I think the humans win this one. And then on this part where the humans and the AI were both asked to describe the house in what, like 150 words or less or something, it doesn't surprise me that the AI one did better here. I mean, I play around quite a bit with ChatGPT and it does a really good job articulating information in a way that makes sense and flows really nice. This was a really interesting process because I think we're at a point now where for certain tasks, AI can do them better than humans. So the question is, should we be scared? Is AI gonna replace us? I don't wanna sugarcoat things. Yes, I do think that AI will replace a lot of jobs, including jobs in the design and architecture field. Um, if not now, 
uh, very near in the future. See, that's just crazy to think, you guys. I mean, right now in my real estate development business, I spend literally tens of thousands of dollars going to architecture fees, engineering fees, and designer fees on these bigger projects that I'm doing. So on one hand, it's kind of awesome to think that this whole process is going to be able to be streamlined and I'm going to be able to save a lot of time and money as a developer. But on the other hand, the emotional side of me is really sad about all of this, at least for the designers and the architects out there, because it's pretty obvious that with just probably another five years worth of fine tuning and development with these models, AI probably will be able to do a better job than humans. I think it's safe to say that artificial intelligence is going to completely reshape the architectural landscape from this point and going forward. Not only is it going to be changing the way that architects come up with their designs for new projects, but it's also kind of weird to think that AI is going to start to actually change the environment that we all live in with its ideas, one building at a time. I can't wait to see how this all unfolds over the course of the next couple of decades. I'll see you guys next time.